We're in mid-May here, and so I thought it would be a good time to share another technique for propagation. We're going to start offering more and more of these. We'll make a whole playlist that I'll link to here. I encourage you to check it out. Um, last year we talked about stool layering, and what I want to talk about in this video is a form, it's like stool layering, but it's a way to propagate woody perennial vines. Specifically, what I'm going to work on this morning is start the process of being able to take many rooted cuttings of this uh, Michigan State University female hardy kiwi. Amazing cultivar. Hardy kiwi, it's a rambunctious plant. Be careful where you plant it. But here we're going to grow it on a trellis. But what I'd like to do is take this vine, which up until a day ago was actually starting to twine its way up into this. I very carefully worked it off of this cattle panel trellis and ran it across the ground. So if you're starting with the vine from scratch, you can plant it and run it across the ground. And the hardy kiwi prefers to root on softwood. But taking softwood cuttings, we'll talk about it later on, but it's tricky. You need to take it at the right time of year, you need to have clean tools, not these dirty hands. Uh, you trim off leaves, you have to sew, like all sorts of steps. But what I've found is that hardy kiwi uh, grapes, we're trialing Shisandra right now with this. If you take the young shoots that are starting to pop, and in my case what I'm using is a sifted compost. This may look very familiar to those of you that watch this channel or have done stool layering before. And all I'm doing is simply gently pinning down the vine. You can see this stuff is a little dry, but over time that'll get rained on and moisten up. And what I'm going to do is leave a bank of excess soil right next to it. So as it grows, I can continue to stool it or hill it. Imagine you're hilling potatoes, but in this case, it's the shoots the young shoots of a vine. And what you can see is that these softwood shoots, these new growth points, each are being gently buried under soil. So kiwi really wants to root right here, right where the softwood, the soft new green growth of this year meets the darker older wood of last year. I might need to walk over to the other side sure, to yeah. show it because I don't think it showed very well. So here's, here are the points where you would imagine, or where I would imagine, the kiwi rooting best. Right here, right here, that... Underneath where the new growth is coming? The intersection of the new vigorous growth and last year's wood. And by going along and applying this compost, up against the stem so that each of those points are gently buried. Throughout the season, as they grow, they'll have the opportunity to root into this material. And again, as I indicated when we talked about stool layering, the beauty of this technique is, first of all, it's, it's straightforward. You don't need sanitized tools. You can use compost or sawdust. You can use sand. You can use sifted wood chips. You can use basically any organic matter you have, or mineral matter. And the key is, if it's not the perfect material, it'll just take longer for the plant to root. And you'll notice what I'll do here is pin it down. So I'm bringing this down, and then with the weight of the compost, let me put another gentle handful. You know, that one got pinned down, no big deal. If I feel like I'm worried about it bouncing up, I can lay a stick across or put a brick on it. And again, what I'll do here now, so that starts the process of encouraging this vine to root. Now, if this works out, I'll get about 30 rooted hardy kiwis by the fall that are known female and an excellent cultivar, all with one bucket of compost. If I don't take those rooted cuttings, the plant will just be incredibly well-rooted and send up a million beautiful shoots. 
and within about two, whoop, <laughs> sorry, sorry, there's ditches <laughs> all over the place. Don't mind the wiggle, Sasha's And okay. I'm seeing you through this bar, so I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of wacky. Anyway, um, we can take uh, rooted cuttings or we can let it grow. Stool layering or approach layering with woody vines works just as well with shrubs. And so that is how to propagate hardy kiwi with a bucket of compost and time. We'll do a follow-up video in the fall where we assess how well it rooted and how many plants we get. And I'll show you some other areas real quick. Here's the male pollinator, meter male kiwi. I'm gonna bring this to the ground. I can bury one or two, not a big deal. Ah, industrial expansion. What yeah. a fun, what a fun juxtaposition to trying to grow as much food as you can in a quiet way. It's prime time to hear all the cars right now. Yep, early morning rush. So there's meter mail on its way to being 20 more meter males. So last but not least, uh, same basic concept being applied to a grape. So you can apply this uh, approach to any sort of woody long-term perennial vine that you want to make clonal copies of. In this case, we've got a Somerset seedless grape, which is just jaw-droppingly delicious, amazing seedless summer grape. Originally planted right here, and you can see I banked it with sawdust and soil this spring. The reason I wanted to point this one out is this is a little modification on the theme. With the two kiwis, basically the entire plant was laid across the ground. Uh, all of it was in service to the idea of making copies. With this grape, we've allowed one or two runs to get up onto the fence. So this year we can enjoy a nice crop of grapes. And at the same time, some of the lower shoots, so you can see it runs all the way to there, it'll keep growing. These lower shoots have been trained down along the ground and pinned with muck soil. I might even pick some of the fruits off of these. And so here's a vine where we're getting fruit production and clonal photocopying at the same time. So I'll just add a little more compost to... You can see it runs right along the fence. It's interfering with the sweet peas, but not in a bad way. Sasha, you don't mind too much, right? <laughs> and the rabbits will probably eat that pea anyway. There you go. They can <laughs> nibble on the pea and leave a seedless grape. And again, just pinning it down gently. And you can keep adding compost throughout the season. And what garden doesn't mind, uh, what garden would mind having compost added gently, continually? So it's everybody's best interest to try this method. There you go. Pile some rotting debris around your vines and see what happens.